WBN is Christian United Broadcasting Network. We're in the late hours today. I'm doing an overtime with CUBN. We are live, CUBN live.com. I am on the overtime on the CUBN network. You can get in contact with us over there at our website. We have a bunch of news piling up there for your ability to look at. Check it out. See what's up. I will be your host today. My name is Troy. All right. What we got on the news today? Atheist handbooks given to Scottish parents, pupils to challenge religion in schools. Oh, my law. What is up with that? Mm -mm -mm. Scottish law requires public schools to hold six religious observance, obs observance, observance sessions a year. Although school officials may choose to have more to contribute to counterbalance re represented re representatives of the humanist social humanist society Scotland HC HSS. Now are pro providing to parents who are concerned about religious influences in schools an atheist handbook as a guide for how to challenge teachers. New HSS materials are entitled A Guide for Non-Religion Parents and A Guide for Non-Religious Young. Hmm. The books include advice on how to opt out of religious observation observance observance what resources are available to schools and how to make a complaint when one feels their rights have not been respected <laughs> hss also provides templates for opt out there whatever happened to the old days when you just went to school and studied math english and history and you went home and you had homework Whatever happened to them days? <laughs> I think you got all this socialist crap going on where you gotta know what to tell, what to say, what to do, what to believe in, what not to believe. What the, what's going on with this world? HSS spokesperson said they received regular complaints from parents and pupils and they believe the guides would help empower the two-thirds of non-religious people in Scotland. I just don't know what that world coming into. Now we've got all rules and regulations. Everybody's just messing up. There's a lot of paperwork involved when you do a lot of rules and regulations. You gotta understand, in the political world, they got babies. And when the babies grow up, they get old. And when they get old, they need a job. So the daddy tells them one day, you know, we need to make up something for the schools so that way you can have a job. So you can do paperwork. Okay, let's make a roll of uh, you need to know what is what with this this law began. We need to we need to specify this law. So you be in charge of this law and you make sure this law gets situated with all the other laws, you know? That's just how it is. And then now you got a job. In the political world, you got a job. Now you set up for that job with the other schools and then you got yourself a job and now all these other schools gotta deal with all this paperwork. This, this stupid thing we come into involvement. Oh my lord. A new campaign called Enlighten, Enlighten Up was launched by HSS with the goal of training humanist school visitors to participate in classes, groups, decisions, discussions, and debates. Gary McLillan, HSS Head of Communications, told Christians Today, Many people across Scotland feel uncomfortable about the religious content of in the school system, but are unsure about what their legal rights are. We now we know from our own research that not all parents are aware of their rights to withdraw from religious observance. Schools really do have a responsibility to let parents and caregivers know what their legal rights are that's why we've created these booklets <laughs> somebody just got a job see that's that's the job he got he, he made books that's his job now they gotta go buy the books issue out the books that's how he make his money that's his job mick Leland 
said their ultimate objective is to see religious observance scraped and replaced with a more inclusive activity, such as philosophy. But until then, we will campaign to make sure that all parents and young people are aware of their rights. Scottish National Party, SNP, leaders have indicated they do not intend to change Scottish laws that enable schools to hold religious observance. observance. When HSS officials accuse SNP leaders of dragging their feet over refusing to allow older students to opt out of religious sessions. Scotland's decentralized education system yields a variety of content and exclusive and, ex- and execution styles within this religious sessions. According to Christians today, in more inner city schools, the observa- the observance of often are less specifically religious with campaign groups as well as church pr- priests leading a reflection while in the rural area the sessions typically are more traditionally pres- presbyterian mm-hmm. and run by church of scotland ministers the self-defined description of a human humanist human humanists are people who desire non-religious services and repres- represent the views of the of those who wish to lead an ethical life, specifically within education. HSS members indicate they don't want anyone to feel excluded from different just because they don't follow a religion. You know, people gotta feel led to do things, not forced. What's going on here is that they're issuing out pamphlets and books trying to teach the babies how to do things religiously, how to accept it, how to not accept it, what to accept, what not to accept. See, these are the things that that will be very simple. There's already a book that specifically states all these things. You don't need another book to specifically tell you something else. It's this simple. Give them the Bible. Let them read the Bible. If they don't like the Bible, they can walk away. If they do like the Bible, then they can enjoy their life. Because that's what it's all going to be about, enjoying their life. Atheist handbook given to Scottish parents and pupils to challenge religion. Oh, Jesus, have mercy. Jesus, have mercy.